this is the place where we often see governments pretending they can do things they can't. And, you know, if you if you think about how people talk about, well, we could just create other industries, we can just do that. And my my instinct is always, well, OK, do it. Like if you think you can do it and all you need is a like post industrial resource town in the woods somewhere, we have lots of those. Right. We have no shortage of them. Not where, that like, there's anything wrong with those. Not that there's anything wrong. In fact, quite the opposite. But do it there. And I, and, and so I think, you know, that same pause is there of how much can a government really stand in the way of, and I talked about those four technologies, right? Wind, solar, batteries, electrolyzers. Governments aren't going to be able to stand in the way. And the more they do it, right, the more we're going to pay a price internationally. If the cheapest energy in the world is one that we decide not to have in Canada, that's not going to last, right? The cheapest source of transportation is one that we just decide we don't want, then that's not going to last either. And I, and I think the technology globally the fact that we're only 2% of the global market means it's really hard for us to create global scale things and it's hard for us to stand in the way of global scale change. I just, last word on it. I, I think that uh, politics is going to have a diminishing impact on the development of climate as an issue. I really believe that. I think that it's been treated for the last 25 years like a political issue, but it's not really a political issue. It's an issue of physics and chemistry. And um, it will present itself to people in ineluctable ways uh, with increasing velocity over time. And that means the reaction function of political marketplaces will force the reckoning with it. Um, the, in the last election cycle in the United States, uh, the Democratic nominee for president said in Pennsylvania that it was his economic policy to transition the American economy away from fossil fuels. Had you told me that anyone, uh, had you told me that that would, ha that would happen even one electoral cycle before that, I would think you were quoting an episode of West Wing. Uh, and I, I just think politicians are not prepared for how fast this is going to come. And it's coupled with a demographic change uh, worldwide. I promise this is the last point, Chris. Uh, when I was born a million years ago in the summer of 1971, there were 3.8 billion people on Earth. My kids, I have a 17-year-old 17, 17 and a soon-to-be 16-year-old, there are 3.5 billion people in their generation, and 90% of them were born in emerging markets. They are going to overwhelm this issue, and uh, politicians who don't get ahead of that are kidding themselves about their prospects for future success.